Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarinders. And today we're going up against Lanayan MC, and due to me butchering that name more than I feel comfortable with, I'm going to say Yuri. Yeah, and this is a Brazilian player, and he has been a long time follower now, very, very active, very good person, and I was really glad to catch up with him with for a battle, where I actually never battled before, so it, I was really, really excited about this. Um, we decided to go for an RU game, and uh, looked at my team here, I actually brought two NU and uh, three RU, so I definitely, definitely feel that I'm bringing it, to be honest. Um, my opponent here has a full RU team, not. He got, of course, a land server. Besides that, it is a full RU team, and, you know, a very good constructed team, very bulky, and Durant is there. And Durant is a very, very, very monstrous Pokemon to deal with. So anyway, we've got Golbat, Claudius, uh, like I said, Durant. A bummer snow is gonna be the mega form. We got that Pokemon. <laughs> the fairy grass type. Um slipped my mind. Sorry about that guys. And of course, like I said, the lantern. I myself using on Fizzant again. And we got Hitmonchan, Desotroya, the Rhyperior, and Moltres, Meowstic, and Float Seal. Which I really use. Uh, I really like that Pokemon. I just never really got around using it. It's actually kinda strange how versatile Float Seal is. And um Besides that, my Meowstic is just broad for the giggles, you know, I want to utilize this Pokemon so bad, but it never has any luck like you guys know. Uh, biggest person on this team, I'll probably say it's the Goldbat because it can take a lot of hits. And Durant, like I said, definitely a problem because it can take out a lot of Pokemon. And of course, you know, Clawlister in all his fashion can actually whittle down a lot of my Pokemon. So, with all these, my guys, let's go. So, at the start there, I really was expecting Whimsicott to start in, but he is actually going to start with Lantern. I myself starting off with the monster, that is, the Unfissant, the Toilex. And I'm just going to go for U-turn, I felt real unsafe to go for a return, but looking at this damage, it might have been very capable of actually taking him out with a 1A <laughs> KO because of the rivalry and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to go to my Selvaros, and I expect an Ice Beam. He goes fire pump, you know, being resistant and all. Ouch. Really, really, ouch. The hell happened. So anyway, I'm just gonna go for crunch because I will take it out, you know, effortlessly, really. Um, the critical hit did not matter. Float seal is just that strong. And with life orb, it really, really hit hard. So anyway, he's gonna go into his whimsicott. And um, to be honest, I had no idea what he was starting off. But it's gonna show me the substitute. Which means that I can't stop attacking him. I need to keep at it. I was expecting a sleep powder or anything like that. Or maybe even Giga Drain. But uh, then again. Had I gone for attacking move, I would have killed him. So this is just a stall out to be honest. He has no real way of going around this. And I have definitely no real way of going around this. I need to actually sack my Pokemon through Life Orb. So... That is kind of tough. It really sucks to have Life Orb when you can't be stalled out. But at the same time, you know, Life Orb is what makes Float Seal so dangerous with Aqua Jet and whatnot. So the combination is there. And he's going to show the Sitter Spare, which means that I thought I would have been having him in a much better range than I did have. Because now he can actually go for another sub after I go down. So, mm, it sucks. But like I said, then again, it, it was extremely necessary for me to pull something like this up. And I'm going to just go into Moltres, because Moltres can really, really hurt this thing. And I think I have nothing to worry about because of the typing. But, he is going to show me the stun spore. And, uh, damn it. Really? Really? <laughs> so I was like, okay, my probably fastest Pokemon besides my Unfissant is now paralyzed. And that is a big issue, because the Moltres has no defensive stats really to brag about. And he's gonna go into his Clawlister. And yeah, I'm not gonna risk it because Scald will take me out. No doubt about it. So I'm gonna go with my Apollo Creed. And actually show him what the true bulk is all about. It is Assault Vested. And uh, you know guys, I love Assault Vest. And he's gonna show me that that is a Life Warp Clawlister. And I'm just gonna go for Drain Punch. Getting as much HP as possible back. He is gonna go into his Ant-Man, the Durant. And um... You know, I know Durant can pack Air Lace, and um, I did not feel comfortable staying in because I do not even do 50% of damage. 
So I'm just gonna go for a hard switch here and I'm gonna go back into my Moltres because I'm thinking that I can probably take a hit or two. Maybe? I mean it's not safe but it's, it's definitely like a maybe. And I take this Iron Head fairly well, it is resisted after all. It's gonna go for an Iron Iron Head and take me down to the range I'm not comfortable with. But my Moltres feel like, you know what? I'm paralyzed, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. I, I'm just gonna go down, I'm, I'm fine with it. I were not, because Moltres could definitely take this thing out. So now this thing is still around. And uh, Tylex, my Unpheasant, is forced to come in here. And I am forced to go for LAs, even though I know I got the Gold Bats. Because I can't go for return, because it will just be too resisted. And Airlays here will do a fair amount of damage because of rivalry. But Airlays is not a safe move, but, but it's Tanfes' best move, sadly. Um, definitely too bad it didn't get Drill Pack. So anyway, I'm gonna go to my Desotroya! And he expected this, is gonna pull a double switch on me to the Ant-Man. And Jim. Um, yeah, I, I need to stay in. I have no options left. It's gonna go for Super Power. And due to my Solid Rock, I am able to survive-ish this damage. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say survive-ish, because probably without the Solid Rock, it would have taken me out. And one Rock Blast is more than enough because of the crit. And uh, anyway, I would have hit him two times. It would have taken out no less. But my Rhyperior is pretty much down here. So I'm just going to, you know... Father this right here off. I'm gonna say Clawlister, eat my body. <laughs> it might be solid, but it's going down. But at this point, I knew that he only got males left in his team. That means that I can bring my Unfesson to Twilex. And actually now go for return because Durant is gone. And look at this. First return is going to pick this Clawlister clean. Mmm, shrimp. <laughs> so you're gonna go with this Baturu. And he actually decided to go for a Roost, thinking that who could stall me out? You cannot. You cannot stall out this rivalry. This guy, my tire legs, he's not feeling it. No males should ever be better than him. So he's gonna just pick up this Baturu right under the picker. So there we go. So tire legs really feeling the momentum. And the Pokemon got left now is the Akuma. Which is the snow run, and I know I can take an eye shot, and I know he's forced to do so. He's either that or take me out by Blizzard, but if you go for Blizzard, he's gonna be hit by a return, so he's gonna just risk it and hope an eye shot is enough. And you know, in a different world, it might have been, but this is Tylex, and he's feeling rival, he's feeling the pressure, so he's just going to pick this up and boom! It does so much damage. I'm so proud of this Pokemon. Man, it hurts so hard. But yeah. <laughs> Toilet is gonna go down, but he did an honorable, honorable ma match here and taking out a lot of threats. So I'm just gonna bring in my Polo Creed here safely and finish off this game with a Dream Punch. And that is gonna be GG. And uh, it actually is just a 2 0. I actually only had Meowsic and my Midman Chan left. So. It really is... I lost a lot more Pokemon that I, maybe I should have, but at the same time, my opponent played really good here. Uh, he definitely whittled down my team early on, and uh, yeah, that run, just wow. And Stun Spore on Moltres, yeah, that stopped a lot of threats from his team. But my Unfessant came through, and as a result, I won this battle. So, yeah, I have actually not too much to say here. Um, definitely, like a, definitely a fun game. Um, I'm very glad that Unfessant works so well. I definitely highly recommend this Pokemon from now on because it has been working so well. And of course, the, you know, the gender is, um, it is like the biggest issue. But if you have that one going, there is just no coming back from a lot of those hits. And um, yeah, the Claw Lister might have been one of the biggest threats to my team. But my Unfessant taking that out, actually one-shotting it, it really, really dented him throughout. And I was very glad that that actually pulled out, because if that weren't to happen, I'd probably lose, to be honest. So, anyway guys, you know, thank you all for watching, make sure to leave a like, of course, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, sky's limit, guys, and take care, right? Bye.